Orin Media, China Making Crazy Breakthroughs in Medicine and Biotechnology Boom! Why is Chinese pharmaceutical innovation breaking Western monopolies? Why are European pharmaceutical companies turning a blind eye to the Chinese market? On the global map of medicine and biotechnology, China is rising at a remarkable pace. From breakthroughs in artificial starch technology and synthetic biology labs, to the China speed of completing mRNA vaccine design to clinical application in just 98 days during the COVID-19 pandemic, and the approval of the world's first clot in 18.2 targeting CAR-T therapy for solid tumors, China is rewriting the industry's competitive landscape, becoming a powerful and undeniable force. However, Europe seems to have not yet fully recognized this profound transformation. According to a 2023 report by the EU Chamber of Commerce, only 23% of European biopharmaceutical companies listed China as a key focus market. The policy catalyst, a decade of strategic growth looking back at the policy trajectory, this transformation is no accident. Since the 14th five-year plan designated biomedicine as a national strategic emerging industry, the Chinese government has built an integrated R&D translation application policy matrix. Over 100 billion yuan has been cumulatively invested through the major new drug innovation science and technology special project, forming a complete industry chain ecosystem of incubator plus accelerator plus industrial park in national level bases such as Shanghai Zhangjiang and Suzhou Biobay. At the same time, reforms to the drug review and approval system have shortened the average approval cycle for innovative drugs to 11 months, a 60% acceleration compared to a decade ago. Particularly in the active pharmaceutical ingredient, API, sector, China now holds 40% of the global market share. It has not only made breakthroughs in the synthesis technology of key intermediates like captopril and paclitaxel but also significantly reduced production costs through green enzymatic catalysis, laying a solid foundation for the entire industry's takeoff. China's R&D leap from imitation to innovation in recent years, Chinese companies have shown unprecedented ambition in pharmaceutical R&D, with a surge in investment. Driven by both policy dividends and capital influx, a quiet revolution is underway, from the development of innovative drugs and medical devices to cutting-edge fields like AI-driven drug discovery. Back in 2013, the proportion of global phase 1 to phase 3 clinical trials conducted by Chinese companies was a mere 3%, an almost negligible figure at the time. Then, Chinese pharmaceutical companies primarily focused on generic drug production, and their clinical trial data management systems were still immature. Facing the rigorous standards of international multicenter trials, they often felt overwhelmed due to a lack of experience. But just 10 years later, by 2023, this proportion had skyrocketed to 28%, a momentous leap forward. This is supported by a series of landmark events, Junchur Biosciences Tora Palamab became the first domestically approved PD-1 inhibitor, reshaping the landscape of cancer immunotherapy, A genes independently developed BTK inhibitor, Zanubrotinib, successfully entered overseas markets, breaking the historical export-only pattern for Chinese original drugs. An AI pharmaceutical company in Silico Medicine used algorithms to discover new targets, shortening drug development cycles by nearly half. Meanwhile, the United States, once dominant in this field, saw its share decline from 37% to 34%, Europe experienced a significant drop from 38% to 23%, and Japan's share sharply decreased from 11% to just 4%. This ebb and flow vividly reflects the profound reshaping of the global pharmaceutical R&D landscape, with China rapidly taking center stage thanks to its full industry chain advantages and the construction of an innovative ecosystem. International collaboration and market penetration Chinese companies are particularly active in early-stage oncology clinical trials and high-end fields like cell and gene therapies, establishing themselves as pioneering forces driving industry progress. This proactive stance has captured the attention of numerous international pharmaceutical giants. Industry leaders such as Eli Lilly, AstraZeneca, and GlaxoSmithKline are all increasing their commercial presence in China, 
actively immersing themselves in this vibrant market of innovation. They are no longer hesitant but are actively seeking partnerships with Chinese companies, hoping to leverage China's R&D capabilities to introduce innovative Chinese-developed products into Western markets and share in the benefits of Chinese innovation. A Turning Point the legendary biotech Johnson & Johnson Partnership 2017 stands as a pivotal turning point in the development of China's pharmaceutical and biotechnology product market. At that time, the global pharmaceutical industry was undergoing a dual transformation of technological iteration and market restructuring. The accelerated pace of Chinese companies in innovative drug R&D began to attract the attention of international giants. Johnson & Johnson, a leading American healthcare conglomerate, with its keen market insight, identified Legend Biotech, a company founded just five years prior, among many potential enterprises. After multiple rounds of careful evaluation and negotiation, the two parties reached a strategic cooperation agreement that year. Johnson & Johnson secured exclusive global rights to develop siltacaptogene autolucil, siltacel, with a generous upfront payment of $350 million and subsequent milestone payments. This collaboration exemplifies international pharmaceutical industry cooperation. Siltacel, as China's first independently developed CAR T cell therapy product, demonstrated exceptional efficacy from its clinical trial phase. In key clinical trials, over 70% of patients with relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma achieved complete remission, a figure significantly surpassing the international average at the time. In 2021, based on its groundbreaking clinical data, Siltacel successfully received approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, becoming the first independently developed Chinese anti-cancer cell therapy to be FDA-approved. The drug's spectacular debut in the international market not only broke the long-standing monopoly of European and American companies in the CAR-T therapy field but also created massive waves in the capital market. On the day of the product's approval, the stock price of Legend Biotech's parent company, Genscript Biotech, surged over 40% in a single day, setting a historical record for the Hong Kong stock biotech sector. Behind this comeback lies a decade of deep cultivation by Chinese research teams in cell therapy technology, from target screening to process optimization, overcoming multiple technical barriers such as immune rejection and cell expansion efficiency. The success of Siltacel not only demonstrates the strong R&D capabilities of Chinese companies in cutting-edge biotechnology but also sets a new benchmark for Chinese innovative drugs going global inspiring countless domestic enterprises to accelerate their global market expansion and reshape the international pharmaceutical industry's competitive landscape. Continued momentum, licensing deals soar in 2024 further solidified and confirmed China's strong and continuous upward momentum in this field. The licensing agreements signed between Merck and Company, MSD, and China's Hanso Pharmaceutical and Raystone Biopharma once again became the focus of the industry. Looking back at the period from 2013 to 2022, China's share of licensing agreements totaling over $50 million was a mere 2%, almost negligible. But in 2024, this proportion dramatically soared to approximately one quarter, fully demonstrating China's rapidly increasing status and growing influence in the global pharmaceutical and biotechnology fields. U.S. response in China's unstoppable innovation facing the rapid rise of Chinese companies in pharmaceutical R&D, international pharmaceutical giants are accelerating their actions. They deeply understand that if they do not seize the opportunity to cooperate with China in a timely manner, other investors may preempt them. For example, Peak Bio, a previously little-known American biotechnology company, quickly reached a new oncology immunotherapy cooperation agreement with China's Akiso Biopharma, Kala Pharmaceuticals is also actively collaborating with Jiangsu Hongrui Medicine. These cooperation cases demonstrate that China's pharmaceutical R&D innovations are attracting the attention of global capital and enterprises, becoming a new engine for industry development. Clinical trials, as a crucial link in the drug development process, directly relate to whether new drugs can be successfully launched and benefit patients. 
In 2015, the Chinese government, assessing the situation, decisively accelerated the approval process for innovative drug clinical trials. This forward-looking reform measure acted like a powerful magnet, attracting a large number of Chinese researchers who had received high-quality education and accumulated rich experience overseas to return to their homeland and dedicate themselves to domestic pharmaceutical R&D. They brought back advanced technical concepts, cutting-edge research methods, and valuable international resources, injecting continuous innovative vitality into China's medical and biotechnology fields and becoming one of the core driving forces for industry development. Facing China's rapid development in medicine and biotechnology, the United States has shown clear anxiety and is attempting to curb it through political means. The Biosafety Act, passed by the House of Representatives last September, is a product of this backdrop. Its core purpose is to promote the development of the U.S. domestic biopharmaceutical industry while restricting cooperation and exchange between U.S. and Chinese institutions in this field. Not only that, but the U.S. also plans to blacklist five Chinese pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies, attempting to hinder the development of Chinese companies in the international market through such unilateral sanctions. However, these U.S. measures are undoubtedly short-sighted and cannot truly stop the surging wave of Chinese innovation. China, through years of deep cultivation in medicine and biotechnology, has accumulated robust innovative capabilities and rich R&D experience. Its innovative potential is like a volcano poised to erupt, and its emergence is unstoppable. The various U.S. restrictive measures will not only fail to weaken China's innovative capabilities but may instead spur China to more firmly pursue its path of independent innovation and accelerate the pace of achieving scientific and technological self-reliance. Would you like to discuss any specific aspects of this translation or perhaps delve deeper into any of the topics mentioned?